Hey everyone, today I'm going to ride a double-decker tour bus through Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. This station here is located near the Ho Chi Minh City Opera House on Win Hue Street. And this is where you buy the ticket. They gave me a brochure, TripAdvisor rated, and these are the different uh, packages available. I uh, picked number eight, the Round City Tour. No, number seven, for 150,000 Vietnamese dong, which comes out to about $6 US. It comes every half an hour. Starting point is here. Looks like it does a pretty good loop of the downtown area. The night tour is a little bit different. There's also other attractions available. The uh, Chu Chi tunnels used during the Vietnam War or the American War, I think it's known as here. The Mekong Delta. Okay, I think that's my bus. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. We have to go upstairs. Right? Even though I would love to be in the air conditioning. Um, let's go all the way in the back. I noticed there is an audio guide, but I didn't see the headphones. This is the Ho Chi Minh City Hall.
it would be interesting to see how this tour bus operates on some of the narrower streets with a lot of motorbikes. is turning left now we're gonna pass by the Independence Palace where the Vietnam War ended or the American War as they refer to it here in Vietnam famously ended when a North Vietnamese tank crashed through the gates of the palace. I believe this palace was used by the president of South Vietnam at the time. You can go inside it. I believe there is an admission fee. Yep, ticket office. In front of us is the Notre Dame Cathedral, which is under renovation right now. You can't go inside it. of Mary in front of the cathedral and then uh, over here is the Saigon Central Post Office building this bus is stopping to let people off
highly recommend if you're taking this tour to wear a hat. The sun is very strong. Water or cool drinks are also highly recommended. still on this upper level. Hello. Hi. The bus. Hi. Oh, change? Well, this is kind of odd. see any uh, earbuds. Oh, there are. Hopefully this is the last bus I need to change to. I'm gonna put on these earbuds. I don't know how informative the commentary is, but maybe I'll pass through what they're saying on this video. can't even read anything what's going on here maybe they haven't turned it on yet Good idea to drink some water.
moving but I don't hear any audio I don't even think this is working Yeah, my audio is not working, so forget it. I'm uh, taking these out of my ear. They're useless. Our hop-on, hop-off bus is running through Lezuan Street, one of the oldest streets of Saigon. About two kilometers long, this street connects Independence Palace and Saigon Zoo and Botanical Garden. You can see this street is very airy and beautiful, thanks to the parks on both sides and the greenery in front of the governmental offices. On the left are the General Consulates of France and the US, and on the right are the General Consulates of Germany, Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and Singapore. The street is also the venue of many parades and meetings and Ho Chi Minh City's special occasions. On to our next stop, the History Museum. Hey, at least they have audio on the bus that's not playing through their headphones. Ho Chi Minh City has the most museums in the whole country. Among these, the History Museum is the biggest and also the oldest. Opened in 1929, the museum houses more than 30,000 artifacts and antiquities from Vietnam's ancient time up until 1930. The museum will surely attract visitors who are interested in Ok Eo and other ancient civilizations in the Mekong Delta region, the art of Champa or Bang Nghe, Saigon, Vietnam's demography, and the cultures of countries in the region. You can explore other services available nearby, the multilingual book search system of more than 19,000 titles or the 1,000-year-old folk water puppet shop. You can also shop for souvenirs or enjoy a cup of coffee in the museum's souvenir shop. A few steps away from the museum is Saigon Zoo. Situated at the northeast of Ninh Nghe Canal, this 150-year garden is a diverse natural resort. The fresh air and peaceful atmosphere can provide visitors a hideaway from the fast-paced life of Ho Chi Minh City. Inside the garden, you can find the King Hung Shrine, the altar of the founding father of Vietnam. The building was built in the early 20th century following ancient oriental architecture and was certified national heritage in 2012.
Saigon Zoo and Botanical Garden. The zoo is home to over 1,000 animals and 125 species, including rare ones such as Indochina tiger, Bengal tiger, leopard, white rhinoceros, hippopotamus, flamingo, and many more. The flora of the garden is just as impressive, with more than 360 tree families consisting of 2,400 woody plants and 500 herbaceous plants. The zoo is surely an ideal destination for people who are interested in wildlife, as this place is also a center for researching, conserving and developing rare genes. It also plays a major role in disseminating information on natural conservation. Now please enjoy your time here at the History Museum and the Zoo. Envy at Tourists Bus will pick you up later, right at this spot. I'm reading on this building here on Google Maps. Left, right at the corner of Nguyen Thi Minh Khai and Ding Tian Huan Street is the headquarter of Ho Chi Minh City Television, or HTV. You can locate it easily by That's the 250 meter there. tall antenna. HTV, formerly known as Saigon Television under the old regime, has a history of more than 40 years. The station offers viewers 80 channels, both domestic and international. Pioneers in content production in many fields, such as news, politics, economics, culture, science, education, and entertainment. Incorporated with Southern Region's characteristics, HTV programs have won the art of millions of years. Regional cultures, Ho Chi Minh City has earned its name as a city with diverse culinary. You can spot food styles in almost every corner of the city, from early in the morning to late at night. Some places even open 24 7. Vietnamese food is diverse and delicious and very affordable, so it would be a huge loss to visit Ho Chi Minh City without tasting its coffee. A cup of coffee has become a daily habit to its residents. They enjoy it any time of the day, anywhere they can varying from high-end coffee shops to cozy places or even street stands. Drinking coffee has been developing far from its basic meaning into a well-spent time with your beloved ones to share stories about life. population of more than 10 million people and thousands of expatriates falling in love and choosing Ho Chi Minh City to be their second home, the city is a melting pot of various cultures with non-stop enthusiastic energy. And now our city center tour bus is heading to District 3. If District 1 is the financial and commercial hub of Ho Chi Minh City, then District 3, which borders District 1, is quieter, more local and a touch of scenic with elegant French colonial villas, undergreen shaped streets and peaceful neighborhoods.
front of you is Turtle Lake, the name that locals gave to this roundabout with many fountains built around 1965. The lake's architecture includes five pillars, leaning inward to look like a tower. There was a huge metal turtle carrying steel on its back at the center of the lake, but it was destroyed in 1978. There is no turtle anymore, but people still use the old name. Since then, this area has become a favorite destination for many citizens, especially students to stop by, take a seat and get away from the busy scene for a moment. The architecture of the school originated from the ku, which means mouth in Chinese letters, symbolizing knowledge. Thousands of students have graduated from here, spread out and contributed to Vietnam's development. And despite its existence for over 140 years, the European-style building still remains its ancient beauty as a symbol of knowledge and education for Saigon. must-see attractions. The museum is currently a member of the International Council of Museums, ICOM, providing documents about the horrors during the Vietnam War. All the information, including materials, photographs and artifacts, are well arranged here, giving visitors a chance to know the war and what the invading forces caused to the Vietnamese people in a comprehensive and systematic manner. The goal of these exhibits is to educate the public about the price of freedom and also nurture their sense to treasure and protect our current peace. In 2013, TripAdvisor voted the War Remnants Museum to be the top 5 out of 25 most worth visiting museums in Asia. Now please get off the bus to start visiting. Along with tourist attractions and historical spots, cultural and performing events hosted frequently are one of the main features attracting not only tourists but also locals. These entertainment activities include music concerts, plays, water puppet performances, movies, sport competitions, art exhibitions, book fairs and many more. The city always welcomes visitors during festive occasions or traditional holidays, such as the Lunar New Year Tet Holiday, Mid-Autumn Festival, Whale Worshipping Ceremony, the Ceremony to Honor Craftsmanship, Wulan Ceremony to Honor the Mothers, and many more. These are chances for visitors to experience the harmony between modern and traditional values of Ho Chi Minh City. 
Saigon Ho Chi Minh City is considered to be the largest and most dynamic metropolitan area of Vietnam. Behind the rush to earn a living, the kind-hearted and welcoming Saigonese still spend their time to enjoy life. They are easygoing and harmonious. The traits, probably inherited from their ancestors, for your computer, Tung Ta Tung Street is a great choice to make. This street is entitled the Paradise of Computer Devices. 
with tens of stores located next to each other in just a short street. From a brand new computer to a second-hand hardware, you can find devices of all types and all prices in this street. Want a whole set or just a few small gadgets? Every shop here seems to master the art of customer service. They virtually have everything that you want and understand a great deal about the demand for IT devices. <coughs> Besides interesting attractions and diverse cuisine, Saigon is known as a shopping heaven for, to tourists with a wide range of well-decorated stores and malls. Shoppers can find apparel in various designs, colors, and price ranges. Running from District 1 to District 5, Nguyen Chai Street gathers numerous fashion and gift shops. Products from both international and local brand names displayed behind beautiful windows will satisfy the most demanding customers. Especially from the early evening, tourists can do a short exercise here as locals use the pavement to show and sell clothes. And one thing that most foreign tourists are amazed when coming to Ho Chi Minh City is definitely the traffic. The city now owns almost 8.5 million registered motorcycles among 10 million residents. Motorcycles are a central means of transport to many Saigonese. These are sometimes regarded as an accessory, a fashionable item that locals love to show when moving in the traffic. Industrial production and assembly of motorcycles have been growing in Vietnam for years. Next on Hop On Hop Off Tour, we are entering an interesting area well known among backpackers. Pham Mulao Street, also called Foreign Street, is the way local people name Bui Bien, Pham Mulao and Day Tam Street in District 1. Located at the heart of Saigon, roads here make up a small town providing a variety of services such as hotels, restaurants and eatery spots for foreign tourists, especially backpackers. Not only foreign backpackers, but also the domestic tourists choose this area as their base during their stay in Ho Chi Minh City. The area is chosen for its affordable prices, 24-7 available travel agencies and convenient location. Passing a few crossroads, tourists can easily access to the Ban Tang Market, Opera House and the Notre Dame Cathedral. begins right here at September 23rd Park, which was originally Saigon Railway Station. The old station was built in 1885. Since then, it had become one of the rare railway stations bustling to serve passengers in Vietnam and Asia. For years, the depot has close connections with neighboring Bang Tang Market to facilitate transportation and business activities. Not until 1983 was the railway station destroyed and moved to its current location in the Boahun, District 3. Part of the station was turned into the park now. The old railway station was demolished in 1983 and the new one has been built in Boahun, District 3. It's time to enjoy the very first stop of the day, the iconic Bantang Market. Bantang Market is a must-see for anyone who has arrived in the city. The market with the four-side clock tower has been a symbol of the biggest city in southern Vietnam. The original wooden made market was built in 1860. At that time, it was located near the wharf of Saigon River and surrounded by the old Eight Trigrams or Bagua Citadel. The name Ban Tang, which literally means Citadel Support, has been used for more than 150 years. Decades gone by, the market suffered bad conditions and was nearly demolished. In 1911, the French colonial administration in Saigon moved it to its current location. So they built a new market hall. Today, Ban Tang Market is considered a historical monument as it bears the unique traits of the 100-year-old market without feeling irrelevant or looking out of place in the busy city. Despite many ups and downs, it's still here to witness the development of the biggest hub in Vietnam and be where cultures are met. Not far from the market is a famous restaurant, Phu 2000 Saigon. 
This is where former President of the United States of America, Bill Clinton, and his delegation once sampled the Vietnam's signature. Lantang Market hosts more than 3,000 kiosks and small businesses selling numerous wholesale and retail items. Sellers here have won buyers' hearts with their beauty, confidence, and good command of foreign languages.
From 7 p.m., the market turns into a bustling night fair. It's totally worth having a walk around to enjoy the liveliness of the city's nightlife. The American newspaper, USA Today, once published a list of the best food markets around the world, in which Saigon's own Bentang market ranked 15. In 2012, it became famous again as being one out of 10 best street food paradises in the entire planet by Food & Wine magazine.
I wonder what happened to the narration. The volume all of a sudden dropped ever since like five minutes ago. But anyway, this is the Saigon River to my right. And that tall building over there is the tallest building in Vietnam, Landmark 81. 81 stories tall, if you couldn't guess. gets back to normal. Hi tree. On the left side you can see a large statue of one of the most famous figures in Vietnam's history, Chang Hung Dao. Chang Hung Dao was the supreme commander of Vietnam during the Chang dynasty. He commanded the Dai Viet armies that repelled three major invasions of the mighty Mongol Yuan dynasty under Kublai Khan in the 13th century. With a stern determined countenance and a finger pointed to the Bakdang pier, named after his victory in Bakdang River, Chang Hung Dao represents Vietnam's historical defiance as well as a look to the future. He is regarded is one of the most successful military tacticians in world history. Standing in front of the city hall 
is President Ho Chi Minh's statue. The image of the nation's father, in casual clothes, raising one hand, is a welcome symbol to all citizens of far away travel. If you continue forward from this stop, you will see the city hall and at the other end, the municipal theater. Connect to the two buildings of Nguyen Nguyen Pedestrian Street. Don't hesitate to see around and take pictures. Coming buses and get tourists will pick you up from here and please don't forget our next stop. got on the bus. Let's get off and I'll walk you over to the uh, opera house. Thank you, come on. Well, that was the tour bus of Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. I thought it was a very, very good tour. Not sure if this bus is going to turn right or not to show the Opera House, which it talked about, but since this is the uh, area I boarded, and I don't really feel like waiting, I'll just walk over there myself. It's only a short block. Yeah, it's not going to the Opera House. That tour bus is just gonna go back to the same route that um, it did for me already. But that's why you have me. There's the Opera House. This Opera House was built in the 19th century French colonial style. And with that, I'm going to conclude my video of the Ho Chi Minh City tour bus. If you enjoyed it, then hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.